Hi everyone, my name is Rui, and so far in these demo videos, we've been talking about a great many things in which data miner elements are often referred to. After all, they're the building block of the digital twin of your operations, but we haven't fully addressed them yet. In this video, we're going to start to, and we're going to start simple, element states. An element uh, represents a managed object that could be literally anything, piece of hardware like switches, encoders, IRDs, or even software like web servers, firewalls, and so on. In data miner, each element can be in one of three states. To change the element state, you right click on an element in the surveyor or whatever else you see the element being listed. When an element is active, it means that the DMA is polling the element and the virtual IP address is active. Virtual IP, you ask? So, when you have a network of many devices connected via all sorts of comms protocols, these devices can be assigned virtual IP addresses to abstract that underlying complexity. So, an active element is effectively polling the data source, retrieving the data and making it available in your system. This is the state you normally want your elements to be in. When an element is paused, means that communication between the data miner system and the element is halted. But the virtual IP address is still active so that users can still access the element and all associated resources. Also, all the latest polled data still remains in memory, so you can restart your element with minimum overhead. This state is good for when you want to do some quick maintenance on a product or some quick rewiring and you need to temporarily halt the data collection from that source. When an element is stopped, means that communication between the data miner system and the element has been severed and the virtual IP address was destroyed and associated memory data has been wiped. This state is used for when you don't want to poll the device for an extended period of time. Every element in the surveyor or in a record list like this is marked by an icon. The icon's appearance will depend on the element status and its alarm status too. Let's go over each of them. This icon means communication with the device is okay and the element has no active alarms. Here communication is okay and the element is in critical alarm status. Communication is okay, and the element is in major status. Communication here is fine, but the element is in minor alarm status. Uh, communication is okay, and the element is in warning alarm status. This one means that communication is fine, and the element has no alarm threshold set. This is an element in timeout. It means that it's failing to communicate with the device or the device is not responding correctly. This is a paused element. This is a stopped element. And finally, a masked element. Pretty straightforward and intuitive stuff. If you like this video and you want to see more, do visit us at our Open Dojo community. Do register to keep up to date with anything and everything ICT, media and broadband. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.